Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video I'm going to explain the difference between a cesspool, a cesspit and a septic tank. So what's the difference between the three? Very confusing, isn't it? And uh, this is one of my most popular questions I get asked, believe it or not. So let's go straight into this, right? So this tank here is the holding tank. So let me explain. So you've got your pipe here, right? So if you imagine your house is here, this is the pipe that comes from your house and all the wastewater from your property leaves and exits the house. By wastewater, I mean your bath water, your sink water, your dishwasher water, toilet water, washing machine water, bidet water, all that kind of stuff. So everything will leave your property and come down into the tank here. And over a few hours or a few days, the tank will fill up with liquid. So you'll notice that this tank, this particular structure, has only got an inlet pipe. All right. So the water can only come into it. All right. At the top there, you've got a lid. And so this is a cesspool. Basically, it's a sealed unit. So what that means is liquid can come in, but no liquid can escape or leave the tank. All right. And cesspits, uh, cesspools rather, cesspools, not cesspit, I'm going to come to that in a minute. Cesspools are good and bad, okay? So they're good in the sense that, let's say you want to protect the environment from a dog muck or, or, or sewage pollution, then once it's full, the tank, it reaches the, um, the level of the inlet pipe, it can't escape. It's safe, it's contained within this structure. And the only way, right, you can get the liquid out is to get the tank sucked out. So you have to get a tanker in, he'll come, he'll take the lid off, and he'll put his pipe into, um, into the tank, and then he'll suck all the liquid out of it, all right? The downside, or the negative points, of that a cesspool, once it's full, will need emptying. Uh, obviously that sounds pretty obvious, but if you've got a house and there's two, three, four of you, then that cesspool is gonna get full up literally every day, every few days. So you'd need, in that situation, you'd need to get your cesspool emptied once or twice a week, and it costs about two, 300 pound a time to do so. so while cesspools were more popular in the past, they're not that popular uh, in the present because they cost a lot of money to, um, to empty all the time. They're just not relevant um, in this day and age of modern living. But anyway, that's a cesspool, right? A cesspit, all right? So let me explain what a cesspit is. A cesspit is exactly like a cesspool, but the, the only difference being is that it's got an outlet pipe. And so all the wastewater will still come in. It, the wastewater will fill up to the level of the outlet pipe here, and then it will drain away into a soak away. All right, and so in the soak away there, it will then just soak away. The soak away could be um, a pit, it could be a, a herringbone system, it could be septic tank soak away crates. It, it, it's irrelevant, but the point is, liquid comes in, it fills up to the level of the outlet pipe, and then the water will just drain away. So the cesspit will always stay three quarters full of liquid. And, um, and over time, all the debris, from your uh, household wastewater, such as, I don't know, fat, grease, sludge, poo, vegetable peeling, stuff like that, they will, some of the bits will float on the surface there, but the majority of it will fall to the bottom and build up on the bottom here, all right? So this is the sludge. And so once a year, you'd get a tanker in, he'd come, he'd put his pipe in, and he'd suck all this sludge out. So we've looked at a cesspit, We've looked at a cesspool. So what's a septic tank? Well, a septic tank and a cesspit are exactly the same thing. There's no difference between the two. It basically depends on which era you were born in, whether you use the word cesspit or septic tank. So in Victorian England, they would have called them cesspits, right? In the early 1900s, they called them cesspits. Then to, in the late 50s, 60s and 70s, they started to use the sep word septic tank a lot more. And definitely 
By the 80s, the word septic tank had superseded the name cesspit, but they do exactly the same thing. They're one of the same. So, um, so it is confusing, but nevertheless, it's quite simple when you break it down like this. A cesspool only has an inlet, and once it's full, it's full. The liquid can't go anywhere. You've got to get it sucked out, right? They're financial suicide in this day and age, so no one uses them, right? Now, they're, they're a thing of the past. Some people do use them if they want to put oil or stuff like that in and keep it safe, you know. But for human waste, sewage, stuff like that, you know, it's either a cesspit or a septic tank. Now, a cesspit and a septic tank are one of the same things. They have an inlet pipe, they have an outlet pipe. Um, the liquid comes into the tank from the wastewater. It then drains away into a soak away somewhere and soaks away. All the sludge, the fat and the grease uh, fall to the bottom of the tank and then once, twice a year, you get a tanker man in to suck the water and the sludge out. So there you go. Now you know the difference between a cesspool, a cesspit and a septic tank. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like more free help and advice, then just go to septictank.co.uk. You'll see loads of, uh, .co.uk rather, you'll see loads of free videos there offering free help and advice on a whole range of topics to do with septic tanks and sewage treatment plants and soakways. Or you can go onto Google or YouTube, go onto my channel, Septic Tank TV, and there's a load of free videos there as well, offering free help and advice. And if you, if you subscribe to my Septic Tank TV channel, you are in with a chance to win a free septic tank and soak away kit. All right. So, uh, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.